Ryan, thank you. Now, as we've been saying, the emergency situation at Piney Point is starting to ease up as water continues to be pumped out of the gypsum stack that threatened to collapse. US 41 has now been reopened, but there remains a lot of questions and concerns. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane continues our in-depth coverage tonight. She joins us live from near right near uh, Port Manatee tonight. Wendy. Yeah, Jamison, and I want to give you guys a first hand look at the spot where that water is actually being pumped into Tampa Bay. Now you can see the greenish tinted water that is coming out of that pipe. It's flowing into a canal and you can see all the foam the pressure is causing. They say 23,000 gallons a minute are coming out of that pipe and flowing into the bay. Now county leaders say this emergency situation took a turn for the better when the state and federal government became involved. Their resources brought in dozens of pumps that have drained the leaking gypsum stack from 480 million gallons down to 300 million gallons. The goal is to drain the water from the leaking stack to prevent a total collapse. U.S. Congressman Charlie Chris says he's actually asking NOAA to step in and help with the water testing and asking NASA for their help. NASA has the ability with their satellites to be able to track the movements of water, where flows may be going, and keep us on top of it so that we're not behind the curve, but rather in front of it. Now, the county says the worst of the water that is leaking out of the bottom of the stack is actually being funneled into another lined retention pond that can hold up to 35 million gallons. They say the water that is going into the bay is coming from the top of the stack and is a mix of salt water and nutrient rich water. Now, the county says that there are boats all around the bay that are constantly doing water testing as well. And of course, we'll stay on top of this story and all bring you the latest live in Manatee County Wendy Lane ABC Action News